Hello everybody and welcome back. In the video a couple weeks ago, I showed you how to do a three level drill down with a bar chart. Of course, the first follow up question was, well, how do I do that with a scatter plot? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. How to create a three level drill down with a scatter plot. Unlike the bar chart drill down, the scatter plot drill down will only show you marks for the level that you're currently at. For example, if I click on region, I now see states. When I click on Illinois, I then only see the postal codes within Illinois. And this is what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you how to create a drill down from region to state to postal code. You can recreate this with any three of your dimensions. Do that by downloading the workbook, copying all the calculations in my workbook into yours, then swap out the dimensions. You will, however, need to recreate the sets and configure the set actions. But again, just follow the steps in this video and you'll be fine. If you have any problems with it, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Let's get started. Welcome. My name is Andy and I created this channel to help you become great at Tableau. Each week I have a new tip, so hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the content I create each week. I share everything I know about Tableau and I don't want you to miss out. Let's start by building a simple scatter plot. I'm going to drag sales to the rows profit to the columns, and region to detail. I'm going to increase the size of the marks and change the mark type to a circle. Let's reduce the opacity a bit to maybe 50%. And we're going to put maybe a black label around the outside. So our scatter plot looks nice. Step one, create the region set. I'm going to right click on region and choose create set. And I like to put numbers in front of these so I can remember the order that I created them. I'm going to call this one one dot region set and click on OK. Next, let's create a calculated field that brings back the states for the region I selected. Create a new calculated field. Let's call this one two dot state. My calculation is if region set, then I want to return the state else region end and click on OK. We now need to create a set based off of that new state field. So right click on two dot state and create a set. And I'm going to call this one three dot state set. Now notice I've got regions listed in here. This will automatically update with state. So don't worry about it looking like regions right now. You'll see how it works. Click on OK. Let's now create our next level down, which is our postal code. Create a new calculated field. Let's call this one four dot postal code. Our calculation for this is if region set and state set, then I want to return the postal code. Else if region set, and what this means is I'm not at the state level, I'm at the region level, then I want to return the state. Else we want to return the region. So you can see we've got three levels in here. We've got the postal code level, the state level, and the region level, depending on which sets are populated. And click on OK. The next thing we need to do is create a calculation that remembers which level we're at in the view. Let's create a new calculated field and let's call this one five drill one, two, three. Give it any name you want. And in this calculation, I want to say if postal code equals a postal code, then I'm going to return the string postal code. Else if the postal code field is equal to one of our states, then we want to return the string state. Else if four dot postal code is equal to a region, then I want to return region and click on OK. Now we need to add these fields to the view. Let's drag two dot state to the detail, four dot postal code to the label. And notice our circles are labeled with the regions because we're at the region level and our five drill one, two, three field to the color shelf. Click on our label shelf. In the font section, let's maybe set it to 10 point, match the mark color and bold. Now we need to set up our drill down actions. On the menu, go up to worksheet actions, add action and change set values. And let's call this one D1 to two. So in other words, drill down from level one to level two, region to state. In the run action section, choose single select only. We need to pick our target set, which in this case is going to be our region set. 
And when they clear this section, make sure you click on remove all values from the set. Click on OK. Let's add another action. Change set values. This one is going to be drill 2 to 3, and it's going to be state to postal code. Run the action on single select only. Our target set in this example is going to be our state set, and choose remove all values from the set. Click on OK, and click on OK again. Now let's give it a test. If I click on central region, I now see the states for the central region in orange, but I still see the regions for the south, the east, and the west. If I click on the south, I now see the states for the south. If I click on one of the states in the south, I now see the postal codes. But I also see all of the other states in the south and the three other regions. So now what I need to do is I need to set up a calculation that filters out all of the things that shouldn't be shown in the view. So in this view here, I should only see the red postal codes. When I'm at the region level, I should only see the regions. When I'm at the state level, I should only see these orange marks for the state. In order to do that, we need to track how many different colors are on the color shelf. So in this case, the color shelf is our drill one, two, three field, and we see we have two fields on color, region and state. So when we count the number of items that are in that drill one, two, three field, it's gonna return two in this case. So let's create a new calculated field, and let's call it six, drill down, filter. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna count the number of items that are on the marks card, and we're gonna do that with a level of detail expression. Start with the mustachio, count distinct, and we wanna count the number of items that are in our drill one, two, three field. Close that off with the mustachio. If that's equal to one, and the value of that drill one, two, three field is region, then we wanna return true. Else if, and let's copy the rest of this. Let's copy that part of the formula, paste it after the else if, and now if there's two colors, and we're at the state level, then return true. Else if there are three items on the color shelf and the level we're at is postal code, then we want to return true. Otherwise, we want to return false. End. Click on OK. And let's drag that field to our filter shelf. And notice we have both true and false. Click on true and OK. And notice how the regions filter out. If I click on New York, I now only see the postal codes for New York. Click on one of the marks again, and it'll go back to the region level. If I click on South, I now just see the states in the South. Click on Florida, and now I only see the postal codes in Florida. In the title, let's go ahead and let the user know which level they're at. We're gonna do that by duplicating the six dot drill down filter field. Let's edit that calculation, and I'm gonna call it seven dot drill down title. I'm gonna leave the if statement the same, but in the then, I wanna return blank if it's just at the region level. If we're at the state level, I wanna return maybe something like region with a colon, and then plus the region that we're at. If we're at the postal code level, then let's return the region plus the region field. And then let's add to that, quote, space, I'm gonna put maybe a circle as like a divider, space, state, colon, space, quote, plus state. Otherwise, we wanna return blank. Click on okay. And let's drag that to the detail shelf. And now in our title, let's update it to say sales versus profit by, and then let's insert the five drill one, two, three field. If I hit apply, you're gonna see it now says sales versus profit by postal code, that's great. But on our second row, it should say the South region and Florida. So let's insert our drill down title. This first row, I'm gonna make a lot bigger and maybe make it bold. Let's click on apply. And now we can see we're in the South region and Florida and now we're looking into postal codes. Click on okay. We need to clean up our tooltips a bit. If I hover over one of the marks, you'll see they're a bit of a mess. So let's go ahead and click on tooltip. On the first row, let's just have the drill down title. On the second row, let's insert drill one, two, three, and then the field we wanna have after that is four dot postal code. We can get rid of our drill one, two, three in our region, and now we have profit and sales. Let's click on okay, and now when we hover over, we can see we're in the south region in the state of Florida. The postal code is 32216, and we have our sales and our profit. If we click on that mark to get back to the region level, 
we'll see it just says the East region and the profit and sales. Click on the East region, and now we can see New York with just its profit and sales and the region in the East. Now, if you wanna put this in a dashboard, you have to do a couple things with your actions, and a lot of times people forget to do this. So let's create a new dashboard. I'm gonna drag my sheet into the view, go up to dashboard, and then actions. And on my first action, let's edit the action. And in the source sheets, let's just change it to our dashboard. Click on okay. On the second action, choose edit and change it to our dashboard. Click on okay, click on okay again. And now all of our actions should work. I hope you found this tip useful and I hope I did a good enough job explaining it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And remember, if you think it's gonna help other people, be sure to give it a like. For everybody that gives it a like, that helps more people find it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll be back next week with another tip.